Okay, guys, first of all, thanks so much for coming. I know you hate these last minute meetings, but this is really urgent today, what we need to talk about. My dear friend, Anne, she's single and she doesn't have a date for Valentine's Day. I'm sad for you. What? Maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay. Aww, as a Capricorn, I feel you. So, you're probably wondering why are we all here? What has that got to do with us? Well, I'm making each and every single one of you to have a mission. Your mission is to find Anne a man. Okay. A couple of perimeters, that sheet's pretty simple. We know Anne may be a little bit shallow or picky. So to make things a little bit easier for her, I want you guys to each find a guy, that's part one. Part two is she's not gonna be able to see what the guy looks like during her picking process. So we need a lot of personality, okay? You should know Anne by now. Find someone who suits her personality. Is that cool? Well, thank you so much also to try and help me find a boyfriend. Just to help you out a little, I prepared a little um, slideshow of my preferences just so you guys have an idea of what is it I'm looking for in a boyfriend. Number one, age range. Okay, so my mother gave me a rule of thumb. 10 years older is the perfect. Anything old, more than that is a bit too much. And usually I'm into older, older guys, but I'm willing to go one year younger this time. Okay, I'm trying to try to do things different in the new year, yeah? Preference number two. Height. I am 163 centimeters tall. I think that's 5'2 or 5'3. So my rule of thumb is they need to be taller than me, obviously. I but if they are very, very tall, like I'm talking 180 and above, brownie points! A lot of people don't look at it. But hair! Okay, um, I usually like a head full of curly hair, okay? But again, I'm not gonna say it's a deal breaker because my ex is bald. Yeah. <laughs> so, plus, a, a big plus point, a really nice beard. What kind of beard? Like the long type, the, you know, the morning after type, like what? So, the morning after, it's not too, it's not enough beard, but the super long one is too much beard. So, maybe somewhere in between, that'd be pretty. The next one is a bit questionable, yeah? Um, preference number four is family trauma. <laughs> I personally, through my experience, I realized that when a guy is the oldest sibling, he has, he's more responsible. You know, he has things down compared to the to the younger to the younger siblings. I mean, this is this is based off what I've experienced. I don't know. So the next few preferences are more serious. Okay, these are the ones you really need to focus on because yeah, these you can consider them deal breakers. Funny. I like the dry sense of humor. I like somebody who can take a joke. So, funny is very, very important. The next one is kind of obvious, but you have no idea the amount of people that can't do this. You need to be able to carry a conversation. I've been out on one too many dates where it's like I'm out on a date alone. Nobody else wants to talk. I have to talk the whole time. So, you need to be able to have a conversation, you know, um, bring a conversation somewhere else. Even if you feel it dying down, you can like bring it back up to life. That's what I want. So, if you can't talk, please walk. Drive and passion. So I'm the kind of person who's very driven. Uh, my career matters a lot to me. I think a lot about the future, what I want to achieve, the goals I want to achieve by a certain age. And I think I need that in a partner because I want to talk about our goals. I want to talk about our dreams and help each other achieve it. The last big solid preference I have, this man must not take himself too seriously all the time, okay? You need to be able to take a joke. There needs to be banter. And, you know, I don't like, I'm gonna say it, a lot of people don't like, don't like it when I use, people say the TM word, toxic masculinity. Yes, I don't like any of that. I've dated somebody who was so bothered um, about me putting makeup on his face because I wanted, you know, to have a little fun, do some eyeshadow looks, and he was like, no, that's girly. And you're a loser. Loser. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Sounds like the perfect guy. There is one last slide. Selenia's preferences. So these are things you can pick up on very, very tiny details, but they matter to me, yeah? So, I hope my preferences have helped you out, and hopefully you can nominate your potential candidates and hopefully I'll like them. I can't wait. I can't wait for you to see the man I have in store for you and it's it's gonna take me a while to find a, a candidate. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna try my best. Are we good? Okay. Am I ready for a boyfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, guys, so you already know her preferences. Go look, go find her boyfriend, please. Someone nice. I'll get you a man, not a boy. Let's get and that boyfriend. Ons. This is the year. Get ready to get booed up and may the best man win. 